This video is from my Most Important Cloud Concepts collection. If you'd like to watch the full series where I describe all concepts in a single video, check out the link in the description. Um, and so my next topic is actually closely related to horizontal scaling, right? And this topic is called load balancing. I'm just gonna keep this diagram here um, because it's convenient for what we just talked about. Um, and let me just erase a little bit of the arrows so I don't uh, confuse you. Sorry, this is a new app that I'm drawing with these days. Um, so I'm still learning it. Okay, now load balancing, what does this refer to? Now, we saw that, you know, in the vertical scaling example, if you have a single host, and this is trivial, right, how you distribute load to your application, it's just going to a single host or a single machine. Uh, but now on the right hand side here, since you have multiple machines, how do you send traffic to each of the corresponding machines, right? How do you monitor whether or not these machines are healthy? And how do you know whether or not, um, you know, if a request comes in, you should send traffic to it? This is what load balancing is all about. And what it essentially is, is it's a layer that sits in front of your application, right? And it has a DNS or an IP address that's associated with the load balancer. And when a request comes in, it essentially distributes the traffic to one of the available hosts that are in this kind of virtual network. So in the example that we have here, if a request comes into the load balancer, it may pick uh, number one in this case, right? Because it's currently available. Or it may pick number two. Similarly, it would not pick number three because it's unavailable, right? Uh, or it could pick number four. And what this essentially allows you to do is it allows your application to route traffic to the available instances. And there's a whole bunch of different algorithms algorithms that you can pick from in terms of selecting which instance you want to direct your traffic to. Uh, there's things called the round robin, where basically you just kind of go through each of them, like one, two, four, in this case, just because, you know, three and five are down. And then you do one, two, and four again. So one, two, and four. You're basically just um, iterating through each of them over and over again. There's other more adaptive and intelligent methods that allow you to select which uh, machine doesn't have as many connections as the other. So say your first instance has like 10 connections, your second instance has 20, your third instance over here has 30, then your traffic would be directed to the one with the least number of connections. You can also use other methods like utilization of resources on the machine. So say you're at like 99% uh, CPU utilization on the first machine, uh, but on the second, maybe you're at 50. And then on the third, you're, you're maybe at like 20. Then the request can be configured to go to the machine with the lowest amount of utilization. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of different methods that you can use to distribute load to your different uh, instances in your application. But this is the key idea of load balancing, right? It's a way uh, when combined with horizontally scaled application to direct traffic to the different instances that are hosting your application. So that's the idea with load balancing. Now, the next one I want to talk about is kind of similar to this, but I'm actually going to redraw it because I'm running out of real estate here. Uh, this one is called auto scaling. And let me just make a little bit of room at the bottom. Um, okay, this looks good. 